VCs turn their paper gains into cash on cash returns? Well, <clears throat> it's not really up to us. We don't have control over it, right? The companies have control over it. My partner Fred has been pretty outspoken that companies should be going public as a way to get liquidity. More companies should be going public. That's one way to do it. And so that's one of the issues is the number of IPOs has dramatically decreased. So therefore, companies don't get liquid. We don't get liquid. Chris doesn't get liquid. I'm sorry, I'm, sorry. I'm having a tiny bit of trouble hearing you. But Josh, what do you think? So I, I, I tend to agree with Andy that, that we're seeing a lack of IPOs in the market. I think part of that is caused by the fact that there's a massive dislocation between how private markets are valuing companies mm -hmm. and how public markets are valuing companies. You know, we're, we're at this rare moment in time. You know, it used to be that com you know, private companies would aspire to, to go public so that they could achieve the public market valuation. Mm -hmm. We're in the rare moment in time where it's almost the opposite. It's as if the, the minor league ball players are getting paid far more mm -hmm. than the professional all-star MVP major league ball players. Right. And until that works itself out in the market, it's going to create a really challenging time for these companies that are being valued in the private markets to realize anything near that price in the public markets. Right, right. But if, mar if markets are efficient, that, should, that equilibrium should occur at some point, correct? It, and, and, and it looks like we might be seeing some of that correction now in the market. Yeah. Right, right, but right. It's interesting because there's a, a real echo chamber dynamic. And, um, and one thing that always strikes me as an LP is when you do get these disconnects, it's very difficult to, um, you know, to kind of you know, glide back to kind of this rational ordering. And as a result, you get, um, you get these funky kind of risk adjusted return inflections where you've got uh, you know, kind of private companies more valued than public companies. If I, were, you know, if, I, if I could wave a magic wand, I'd invent a way at times to short private companies, right? Because that, that would kind of you know, uh, recreate the equilibrium. But there, the stale prices associated with the private companies make right. it possible to do that. Public companies trade every day. Good news, they trade. Bad news, they trade. Private companies typically trade on one of two reasons. When there's good news and the company wants to fundraise, or when the company needs cash so badly that they're willing to trade on bad news and capitulate on price. Mm. And what that means then is that you know, you, you're going to need to see um, companies end up having to, some of these companies will have to work through their cash um, before these private companies trade to sort of where the market should be. You know, I also think that we're at this interesting point where we don't know, where the industry is trying to figure out, are we using the right, the, the right comps? Mm -hmm. Are lending companies a fintech innovation, innovative marketplace and should be valued as such, or should they be valued as lenders? Right. Should e-commerce, disruptive e-commerce companies be, be labeled as real in technology innovators? Or are they a mattress company? And, 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 and they, they get valued differently based on that. Right. And even